Hello students, welcome to this introductory photography video on composition. We're going to talk about the first four good composition techniques. We're going to be talking about simplicity, bullseye, rule of third subject, and rule of third horizon. Hopefully by the end of this video you'll have a good grasp on those techniques. We're going to start by talking about simplicity. For an example of what is not simplicity, I have my favorite little bulldog here with a very distracting background. There's so much going on, it's kind of hard to pick him out. He blends in a little bit. There's other things that seem kind of prominent. How can we make this more simple and key us in on this thing? This is especially important in advertisement photography where they want you to look at their toaster, their blender, whatever their product is, and nothing else in the background. Here's my bulldog on a simple background. This would be perfect for Chroma King. Select that background and change it out for something else. But if you look on most shopping websites like Amazon.com, you will find items photographed against a white background. This is an example of simplicity. Bullseye photography is a good technique. It is often preferred for advertising. Bullseye photography means the subject is in the center of the photo. This is commonly used for advertising. Bullseye is the photography technique of putting the subject in the center of the frame. This is frequently required for taking advertising photos. Many times portraits and other photos like that of people are preferred to be in bullseye settings as opposed to using some of the more creative techniques. This one does get old fast. It is a good technique. It is a technique to use. But if an entire portfolio is just bullseye, it kind of wears out quick. This photo is bullseye and has a distracting background. This photo is bullseye and has a simple background. My point is to say that the background does not affect whether it's bullseye or not. Bullseye has to do with the placement of the subject, not the background or foreground. Photographs, whether taken in landscape or portrait, can be divided into thirds. The intersection points, which surround the center of the photo, can be used as focal points just like bullseye focuses on the center. This is known as rule of third subject. The rule of third subject tells me that by moving the subject out of the center of the photo, I can add interest. I can actually add a sense of motion to this car, even though it's still, because I've given it space for it to move within the frame of the picture. Here's another rule of third subject photo. I've moved Darth Vader out of the center of the frame. Rule of third horizon tells me I can make photos more interesting by moving the horizon line where the sky meets the ground to the lower portion of the picture or the upper portion of the picture. All right, students, get out there and take some great photos.